Hi, my name is Eddie Parrish, owner of Edison Lighting Supply. I'm very excited to introduce our new T5 Ballast Bypass LED tube. This tube is DLC compliant. We now have a solution to eliminate those very expensive T5 ballast and save you almost half in energy dollars per tube. Today, I'll be demonstrating with a four bulb T5 fixture on how to exactly bypass the ballast and put these tubes to work to save your company or your facility replacement dollars and energy dollars. Let's get started. L and the N. Only one side of this tube is going to be wired, both with the live wire coming in as well as the neutral. And on the T5 fixture, you're going to have two of the same colored wires coming out of the socket on one side. Meaning on the opposing side of this tube, all the lamp holders will be needed for is to hold the tube in place. So let's say you have two oranges coming in. You're going to assign an orange to the white wire to the power and you're going to assign one of the other orange to the black coming in on the main power line. And then let's say the socket next to it is blue. We're going to do one blue and one blue. And it is that simple. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start by eliminating these 54 watt T5 tubes. And like I said, we will be retrofitting a four bulb T5 fixture. Okay, so we'll use a quarter inch nut driver here and we'll go ahead and unloosen the nuts here holding the reflector panel on. There should be, if you're running a four bulb fixture, there should be four on each side of the fixture right below the socket holding the reflector panel to the fixture. Like I mentioned in our previous video regarding the tube, the tube is wired on one end. Like I said, it's going to take two wires. So on this particular T5 fixture, there's two wires coming in to each socket. Blue, red, two at the brown, and two at the yellow. Okay, And these are all going in to the ballast right here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cut these wires giving us plenty of lead because our power coming in and going out is going to go out through this little cutout right here. All right, so we know that we don't need to cut a whole lot of line and make it real long to get down to the center of the fixture because this is where our out's gonna be. So let's go ahead and get these cut away. So we've got the blue cut away, the red cut away, the brown cutaway and the yellow cutaway. Now let's go down to the other end of the fixture and cut those wires away and then we can get this ballast out of here. Okay, now we're at the opposing end of the fixture and we only have one wire coming in off of the ballast. So we have a, a orange, an orange, a blue, and a blue. Okay. Once again, with this particular tube, we're not wiring anything with, from this end. These lamp holders are simply there to keep the lamp in place. We're going to be doing all the wiring for the other end of the fixture, like explained earlier. So let's cut these away. Okay, now that we have the wires cut away from each socket end here, we'll go ahead and remove the ballast. We're just gonna use our quarter inch nut driver here and pull this ballast out. If you have a perfectly good ballast, folks, don't throw it away, just keep it on the shelf somewhere in case you do have tubes that you're not going to retrofit with LED fixed 
LED tubes. Okay, so there we go. And now we've eliminated the ballast from the fixture. So we'll set this big guy aside. Okay, so now we're back at the wiring end of the fixture. So we'll go ahead and, and strip all these wires away and get them ready for our wiring to the power line coming in. Okay, as we discussed earlier, now that uh, we have our main line ran into the fixture, our black and white wire, our green wire is grounded to the fixture here, we're going to take one side of each color here, the blue, the red, the yellow, and the brown, and put them with the black coming in on the power. So let's go ahead and get that done. Wire coming in on the power source the AC. Okay. Nice beefy wire nut on here. Nice and sturdy connection. These four here. The blue, the red, the brown, and the yellow. And bring them to the white wire coming in. Now folks, not all T5 fixtures are designed the same. I happen, and this is the way this T5 fixture is designed. So, please, uh, didn't get a very good connection there, so we'll have to start this one over. So, please take that into consideration when you are watching this video. Okay, all right, I believe we're all connected there. One side to each, as you can see, blue, yellow, red, and brown. Blue, yellow, red, and brown to the white. The other to the black. The wire, the green wire is grounded. Okay. Now let's put our cover back on, and we'll put some bulbs in and see what we got. Okay, I'm sure most of you have replaced the reflector panel back into your fixture. If you haven't, do it now. And then install the one, two, three, four tubes or six tubes, whatever you may have. Okay. Do remember, all of our power is located on this side of the fixture. All right. And just to refresh your memory here, the L and N side is the side of the tube that will be powered. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and slide this guy in here, lock it in. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it on and see what we've got. And there we have it, our T5 Ballast Bypass LED tube, saving you and your facility time, effort, energy, and ballast replacement dollars. Thank you for joining us today on Edison Lighting Supply YouTube channel. If you'd like to order some of these products, please contact us at one 646 643 zero five 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 or email us at sales at edisonls.com. Have a great day.